This video is all about clearing brush. In this video, I'll be using a brush mower, a pickup truck, and a bunch of hand tools. The uh, curtains of briar that you see featured right there were a common theme, theme among most of the property here. Eventually, after enough sweat equity, elbow grease, whatever you want to call it, we wind up with this beautiful landscape. So stay tuned and I will show you exactly how I do this. So this is my boy Steve and he's bringing one of the most important tools we have. This is the DR Field and Brush Mower and it features the 11 and a half horsepower Briggs and Strat Intec engine. It's equipped with the heavy duty, half inch thick, double sided brush blade. And it's a badass mower. The only real difference between a regular mower and a brush mower is that a brush mower is wildly dangerous from the front end. The DR comes equipped with all the interlocks you would expect to keep the uh, operator safe, but from the front end, it's just absolute mayhem. The blade is exposed, and instead of pushing things down, it can cut them while they're standing, and that is the key feature of a brush mower. If you don't own a tractor, a filled and brush mower is an excellent option. So this here is identifying my victim. I am going to destroy this briar. So after mowing a path where I can safely walk around it and not get too scratched up, and even a little bit on the side, I take my tow rope or chain or whatever you have, and I wrap it around this monstrous batch of briars. I weave it in and out of the trees so that when I hook it together, it will cinch down and only grab briars, avoiding any of the trees. You see this? This is teamwork right here. Yeah, so we hook it together, lasso all these briars, and cinch it very tight. Hook it up to my Toyota 4x4, of course. And uh, I keep it in four wheel drive low, uh, just because it's a lot easier on the clutch. And as you can see, it just cinches down and easily rips it out. This method uh, saves a ton of time. I mean, ripping these out by hand is a half hour process and it can be pulled out with just a minute or so of, of setting it up after you mow, of course, and then literally 20 seconds of yank. And since it's already hooked up to your truck, you know, you might as well just drag to your burn pile or however you plan on getting rid of this stuff. So this is what remains. It's uh, just a fraction of the work that used to be there. So we start doing all the, the hand work. I mean, you just, you just can't escape that. To make it really look nice, after you use your big equipment up, you gotta go in it by hand. So we smash, we bash, we cut, we snip. I don't know what we do. It's just inevitable. You have to do this stuff. There's no getting around it. Unless, of course, you hire some guys and then they can do it for you. But the best thing you could do is to just mow over it again and that'll level everything out and really make it look good. And then, of course, you repeat. You gotta pull, you gotta mow, you gotta yank, you gotta mow. So as Professor Opong once told me after assigning me an 80 page paper, he said, the only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. And that's what this is. A project like this is so intimidating. There's so much to do. You just gotta focus in on one part and 
take little bites of it. Next thing you know, you're starting to make progress. You're starting to see all the things that have been lost to the brush and the darkness. And it starts to become time to sort of reflect on the whole project. You need to consider what the greater implications are of destroying wilderness. Are you doing this for yourself? Are you doing this for someone else? It all depends. It all depends on what your purpose is. But I will tell you this. All the things that you love about your land, if you destroy everything wild about your land, it's going to disappear. Because habitat is a place where people can't go. And so if you get too crazy and you wind up with 80 acres of a field you're gonna really regret it one day all I can say is sort of moderate how much you clear because you need you need some of that wilderness to keep you attached to and connected with your land otherwise where are you gonna go what are you gonna do with it what are you gonna look at just have some respect for it. Open up your trails. Enjoy it to the best of your ability, but don't go crazy. Don't murder nature. <laughs>